I'm Jan Jaworski. I'm the Vice President for Research at the Danforth Plant Science Center and uh, also one of the principal investigators. And so uh, today I want to talk to you about the plant growth facilities and the uh, greenhouse facilities that we have here at the Danforth Center. So this is a very different kind of facility than you see in academia or, or for that matter even in industry. What's important about a growth chamber is that we can really control the conditions that we grow our plants in. We can raise the temperature, we can change the light conditions, we can even in some of them, we can even change the atmosphere. We can, for example, increase the level of carbon dioxide. What that allows us to do is essentially duplicate almost any condition that exists in the world for growing our plant. These large growth chambers are really important to the Danforth Center because it gives us a lot of flexibility. Right now, in this particular one, we're growing Arabidopsis. We have them on wire racks. It allows us to grow a very large number of plants under an identical condition. Other times, we move the wire racks out and actually put plant corn in here, and we can grow essentially a small field of corn in one of these growth chambers. So the flexibility that was afforded by these growth chambers is really important to a large amount of the research that's done here at the Danforth Center. This is the potting room of the Danforth Plant Science Center. We have a central facility here that's maintained by the greenhouse staff. All the equipment that we need, all of the supplies, the soils, all of those things are already here. And we, of course, have an excellent staff who can help us choose what the right soil mixtures are for our given plant. One might ask the question, how do you keep track of so many plants? And the answer is they're all barcoded. Every pot will have a barcode on it. Here's an example of one. This is a tag that we just simply put into a pot. It has all the information by giving instructions to the greenhouse staff. They know when to water. They know how much water they're supposed to be getting and furthermore when to stop watering. So keeping track of plants is a very, very important thing that we do for our research. So these are our greenhouses. What you see behind us is half of this area. This greenhouse off to my left here is one of our air-conditioned greenhouses. It's where today we're growing mostly camelina. There are a number of other cool weather crops that we're concerned with here at the Danforth Center. And they are, especially in the summer, it's very important that we maintain these greenhouses very cool. And it's difficult to do in a place like St. Louis where we have very warm summers and high humidity. But in fact, here at the Danforth Center, we have excellent facilities for growing all of these crops year round. And that's really a testimony to the foresight of Dr. Beachy and Dr. Danforth when they built these facilities, they really built first-rate facilities.